In this video, I'll show you how to build and backtest a complete strategy using the Trade Signal Strategy Builder in TradingView. You'll see how to add the strategy builder to your chart, create long and short entry conditions, set exit rules and basic take profit and stop loss, and run a backtest in TradingView. No coding, just configuration. First, access the strategy builder. Make sure you're logged into TradingView with the same username you added in your Trade Signal portal. You need an active Trade Signal subscription or trial and your TradingView username submitted in the portal to get access. Open any chart where you want to build your strategy. At the top, click Indicators and Strategies. In the left panel, click on Invite Only Scripts. You should see Trade Signal Strategy Builder there. Click it once to add it to your chart. You'll see it appear at the top left with a strategy label. If you don't see the Strategy Builder in the Invite Only section, Contact Trade Signal support with your TradingView username. Now let's look at the main parts of the Strategy Builder. Next to the script name at the top left, click the Settings gear. You'll see sections for Long Entry and Short Entry. This is where you define when to open trades. Exit Conditions. This is where you define rules to close trades based on indicators or price. Take Profit and Stop Loss. This is where you set your TP and SL levels. Each condition uses the same structure. Source A, an operator, and Source B, or a value. Source A is your main data source, like an indicator or price. The operator is how it compares to Source B, for example. Crossing over, crossing under, greater than or lower than. Source B is either another indicator or a fixed value. You can also combine multiple conditions with AND or OR. Only enabled conditions are used. Disabled ones are ignored. That's all you really need to understand before building your first strategy. Now let's build a simple moving average crossover strategy with a trend filter. The idea is go long when a short moving average crosses over a long moving average while price is greater than the 200 EMA. Go short when the short moving average crosses under the long moving average while price is lower than the 200 EMA. First, make sure you've added the moving averages and the 200 EMA you want to use to your chart. In the Strategy Builder settings, enable Condition 1 for Longs. Set Source A to your short moving average. Set the operator to Crossing Over. Set Source B to your long moving average. Now enable Condition 2 for Longs. Set Source A to Close. Set the operator to Greater Than. Set Source B to EMA 200. Set the logic between Condition 1 and Condition 2 to AND. So a long entry happens only when the short MA crosses over the long MA and price is above the 200 EMA. Now, mirror this logic for short entries. Go to the Short Entry section. Enable Condition 1. Set Source A to the short moving average. Set the operator to Crossing Under. Set Source B to the long moving average. Enable Condition 2. Set Source A to Close. Set the Operator to Lower Than. Set Source B to EMA 200. Again, set the logic between Condition 1 and Condition 2 to AND. So a short entry happens when the short MA crosses below the long MA and price is below the 200 EMA. At this point, you already have a working long and short entry setup. Next, let's add simple exit rules and TP and SL. Go to the Exit Conditions section. Enable Long Exit Condition 1. Set Source A to the Short Moving Average. Set the Operator to Crossing Under. Set Source B to the Long Moving Average. This will close long trades when the Short Moving Average crosses back below the Long Moving Average. If you want to mirror this for Shorts, enable Short Exit Condition 1. Set Source A to the Short Moving Average. Set the operator to crossing over. Set source B to the long moving average. This will close short trades when the short moving average crosses back above the long moving average. You can leave exit conditions at that for now. You can always tweak them later. Now let's configure the take profit and stop loss section. For this example, we'll keep it simple. Fixed take profit and stop loss. Enable stop loss and take profit for longs and shorts. Choose the calculation type you prefer, for example, ticks or currency distance from entry. 
Set a reasonable take profit and stop loss distance for your time frame. You can experiment with different distances and types later, including using indicators, exact price levels, or ATR with multiplier. Remember, exit conditions, take profits, and stop loss works together, whichever triggers first will close the trade. As you configure these, you'll see long and short entries, exits, and TP and SL levels plotted directly on the chart with arrows and markers. Use these visual signals to quickly confirm that your conditions are triggering where you expect them to. Once everything is configured, let's run a backtest. At the bottom of Trading View, open the Strategy Tester tab. Trading View will automatically backtest your strategy using the rules from the Strategy Builder. Here you'll see the equity curve, net profit, win rate, profit factor, max drawdown, and the total number of trades. You can also open the list of trades to inspect entries and exits and make sure they match your moving averages and filters. Change symbols and timeframes and see how the results change. Use that feedback to adjust your conditions, filters, and TP and SL. The whole point of the strategy builder is that you can quickly test ideas without writing any Pine script. You've now got everything you need to turn almost any indicator or idea into a rule-based, back-tested strategy with clear long and short entries, exits, take profit and stop loss levels, and to validate your logic using TradingView's strategy tester. In the next video, we'll show you how to set up alerts from this strategy to trade signal so you can automate any strategy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss new tutorials, strategy breakdowns, and feature updates for TradeSignal.